Hi, Miss Huddle. <gasps> Good evening, Mrs. Sexton. Are you hungry? So hungry. I want to have some chicken wings for dinner. Look how good those look. Those look delicious. Mm -hmm. So I'm solving this problem about Mrs. Mitchell actually going out to dinner and eating these chicken wings. So let's read it. It says, Mrs. Mitchell went out to dinner and ate four chicken wings. She paid the waiter $25. He gave her back $9 and change. How much did she pay for each chicken wing? Well, Mrs. Sexton, I can tell you already that Mrs. Mitchell loves gourmet wings. So those yes. wings are mm -hmm. pretty expensive per wing, but trust me, it's worth it once you taste them. <laughs> okay, so what I like to do when we do these problems is I would like to draw a little bit of a bar model. Okay. And the first thing that I want to do is draw the hole. Okay. So the whole amount that Mrs. Sexton had was $25. Mm-hmm. So this right here, the entire total, I'll just do it down here, I guess. Mm -hmm. Sorry, I should have saved room up top, but I didn't. Okay, it's 25. Mm-hmm. And I'm not going to do the dollar sign yet. Okay. And I know, um, she didn't have to spend the whole 25, did she? Mm-mm. She had some change. Yep. How much? Nine dollars. Okay, so I'm going to section this little part off. Mm -hmm. And that's going to be the money that we don't have to calculate for the chicken wing cost. So that's going to be nine. Okay. Um, and then she had to pay, the question is for each wing, and there's four wings. So this is a wing, one, two, three, four. So there's four wings and nine dollars remaining that she gets back. Okay. So, do I do like nine times four? What do I do? That's a good, okay, so Mrs. Sexton, first of all, if you paid me $25, mm -hmm. um, but you got nine back, how would you figure out the difference? Ooh, you said difference. Mm -hmm. So, I would use subtraction. I would, I would do nine minus 25. Mrs. Sexton, when we do subtraction, we put the big number on oh, top. Okay, you right. Now, I can <laughs> think out loud, and mm -hmm. I can say if this was 25 minus 10, it would be 15. Mm -hmm. But since it's 9 is 1 less than 10, I believe the answer is 16. I believe you're right. Right. And I could double check that by saying that 16 plus 9 is 25. So we know we're right. And Perfect. that the difference is 16. Oh my gosh, I love it. Great thinking, Mrs. Sexton. Mm -hmm. um, okay, so we know that the cost mm -hmm. for the wings, not worrying mm -hmm. about the change, is $16. Okay. So now we have to equally share this $16 between the four wings to determine the cost of each wing. Okay. Okay. So do I multiply it? You could say what times four equals 16. Is it three? Hmm, let's try it. Let's guess and check. Are you okay. ready? Something times four equals 16. Mm. If I do three fours, three, six, nine, 12. Oh, no, that's not right. That's not right. What it's else can we enough. try? Four. Let's try that. Four, eight, 12, 16. 16. It works. Four, 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 four. <gasps> Mrs. Sexton, how much did each wing cost? $4. $4, and she got $9 mm -hmm. back in mm -hmm. change. How do you do that thing? Oh, no, what did I do, boys and girls? How do you do that thing where I have more space to write? Well, last time we lost sound when we tried to do it, so... Should I just erase my work? Let's see. No, we... Stay I, with I us, boys and girls. Here. Okay, so I would say that I would write a whole sentence, for a complete sentence for my answer, and I would say each wing was, and I could just mm -hmm. do a dollar sign instead of writing uh, was $4. And again, these are gourmet wings, boys mm. and girls. Um, what do you think, Mrs. Sexton? Sound I good? We're all done. Yeah. Thanks all for right. walking me through that, Miss Huddle. Hey. I really, the bar model really helped me to see it. You are most welcome. Um, we promised the kids a challenge. We did. <laughs> All right, so just like our problem had two steps, scholars, your problem is going to have more than one step. You can draw a bar model like we did if you want, but you don't have to. So hold tight, and we will get you your problem. Yeah. All right, scholars, here's your uh, 
challenge problem. Game for on. Your teacher high five. It says Miss Huddle bought 36 Hershey's Kisses. Mrs. Sexton got hungry and ate eight of them. <laughs> Oops. Sorry, Miss Huddle. It's okay. If Miss Huddle gives the rest to her four VIPs, how many will each VIP get? Now, Miss Huddle, um, What's a VIP, just in case that confuses anyone? Well, Mrs. Sexton, they are a very important person, mm -hmm. VIP, who has worked super hard during the week. All right, so if Miss Huddle chooses four of her scholars at the end of the week, that's what a VIP means. That's so right. So it's four people sharing the Hershey Kisses equally, except for Mrs. Sexton, eight, eight of them. <laughs> um, come show your teacher your work um, to get a teacher high five. We'll be super impressed if you have a bar model, too. Yes. Have a great night. Good night. <laughs>